Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. Okay, so up till now we have completed the topic of binary systems and now we are going to start hexadecimals, right? Okay, so in this video I'm gonna tell you that what a candidate of O-Level Computer Science must know in the topic of hexadecimal. What are the subtopics under this heading, right? So let's see, according to the syllabus of O-Levels Computer Science, let's see what are the things we need to know or we need to understand under this heading or under this topic of hexadecimals, right? So uh, the very first thing is a candidate must know that how we are going to represent numbers or integers into a hexadecimal notation. Right? And similarly, with, the, with this how, we also have a why. It means a student must have an understanding or must know the reason behind representing a hexadecimal, representing the numbers in this hexadecimal notation. Why? What is the reason behind representing numbers in hexadecimal notations, right? So these are connected topics. Then we have the third one that is conversion. Okay. Inside conversion, we must know that how a hexadecimal number can be converted into a decimal or a binary number, right? And this can be reversed as well. How a binary or a decimal number can be converted into a hexadecimal, right? So this is my first conversion and my second conversion would be how we can convert a hexadecimal number into a binary number, right? In the form of zeros and one and how this binary number or any binary number can be converted into a hexadecimal. So these are the two kind of conversions we will see in this hexadecimal topic, right? Okay, now the next thing is how we are going to represent numbers that are stored in register, the number that is in memory or register into into hexadecimal, right? So this is an important topic. Here we are going to see that the numbers that are stored in memories or registers, how they are being represented as hexadecimals, right? Now, the last thing is the current uses of hexadecimals. Current uses of hexadecimal numbers, okay? Some of the uses, uh, let me discuss over here. These are basically uh, the color codes, right? In HTML language, how we are using hexadecimals in the color codes in HTML. Then we have how we are using it in MAC address, right? In an internet. Okay, then how we are using it to write a machine code or an assembly code, right? So these are some of the examples, some of the uses of this hexadecimal number, right? That we are going to see in this topic. So I think I have uh, covered each and everything. And I have uh, told you that what are the topics and the subtopics under, under the heading of hexadecimal, right? So... Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to formally start the topic of hexadecimal. And in that video, I'm going to tell you that how we are going to represent numbers in hexadecimal and why we are doing it, right? So thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video. Take care.